Yo, what is up guys? We're here on Neo's RSPS. It's a new server. It came out about a week ago. It's a uh, 718 and I just want to bring you by. I want to show you everything that it has to offer. We got some money making guides here. We got some training. We got some boxes. So let's get right into it. Thanks to our lovely owner Zed, we were able to get some boxes to give away to you guys. But uh, he gave me some 28 here to open at the end of the... Oh. Man, I wasn't supposed to open those, but here we got five for you guys. So all you have to do to enter and win these boxes is to leave a like, drop a sub, leave your uh, in-game name at the bottom. That'll leave you entered. And of course, these are really good boxes that you'll see what I get at the end of the video. Stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. So right here, we're just training up with chickens so we can move on to rock crabs and level up some more. So here at rock crabs... We're training up, we want to get to at least like 60 attack and 60 strength, 60 defense, so we can be able to move on to, oh, we got a little lamp right here, constitution for health. Oh, that's crazy, I didn't know it just pops up like that, cool. So we can move on to uh, Zogers. And before heading out to Zogers, I decided to level up my mining, because as the owner told me, Lava Flow Mine is one of the best places to level up your smithing, to get the gold mining outfit. So all of these things are really going to help you out in the future. So we're going to be leveling up for that. It's at 68 is when we can do it. So from 32 to 68 or 37, my bad. I was doing gem rocks and then boom, we're right here into the lava flow mine. I heard that you can do gem rocks until 99 too. So that's not so bad either. All right, so we're gearing up right now to head out to Zogers. I'll show you the way and how to open up the teleport tab to go there. So you go into the quest, you do the training scroll down to zogers and these are really good especially for beginners to mid-level you get so much money from this it's crazy the marble block that i get from the coffin keys you can sell that for such a good amount of money i think you can sell it for 320k 40k somewhere around there but either way it's really good money if you're beginning and these are very easy to kill once you get those combat stats up so i definitely recommend this a hundred percent Alrighty, so here we are after 12 kills of the ogres, and we're opening up these keys. You can see, oh, a room berserker shield. That's really good, and we get some bones. So I'm going to speed this up, and I hope you enjoy, and let's see what I can get. Oh, and right off the bat, we were able to get ourselves a marble block. And using all the bones that we got, we can level up our prayer to about, let's see, 57 maybe? Not only that, but um, this marble block, we can put it up in this really cool grand exchange. I mean, it's just like normal RS, so it's perfect. Look at that. So now we have our offer up. And if we go on Discord, look at this. This is so cool. You can see me selling my marble block on their Discord. And you can also see what others are selling also. This is another way to make money, because if you pick what they need, boom, you sell it right to them, just like that. So one of my favorite things to do in RuneScape is to thieve. So to start off doing that, I'm just going to start thieving at Taverly. And once I get to 22, I'll thieve in the stall next to me and then move on to the thieving guild where I'll reach about 40, somewhere in the 40s and get an Ibis Legs, which is really good for thieving XP. And from here on out, I just had to check the Pyramid Plunder because I haven't seen any server with this minigame where you can get so much XP for thieving. So as you can see here, it's going really well. You're getting so much XP from this. But one thing you do have to look out for is the snakes, man. They will knock your health down. That's why I brought some food here to help me out to survive as long as I can. What I find so cool about this is as each level progresses, you get more XP per level. So before ending off the video, I just wanted to showcase this one last thing, which is I haven't seen this any anywhere. Like your throne has deposited the resources and you're like, whoa, what is this? So when you see that, you want to go to cities, you want to go to Michelania, and you just want to keep running west. I'll show you that path right here. Just look at these beautiful fields, like cabbage. I don't know what the other ones are, but they're really nice. And you're going to be running into this village right here. So most likely the doors are going to be closed. Sometimes they're open because other players see it. 
So you open the large door and advisor Grim right there. You just want to right click collect. Look at all that free loot that you get. Isn't that crazy? And it, you could bank it all and that's all yours. Every hour you get that. Alrighty guys, so this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be opening up these mystery boxes now. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, Rune Defender. I know you can get a Dragon Defender also. So we've got some Barrel Sets too, Torags and Arums. That's really good. Look at that. We got a Warrior Ring right there too. A Hand Cannon and another Warrior Ring. That's crazy. So remember to enter the giveaway to get your own mystery boxes and have a fantastic day.